<sighs> What's up, everybody? Yeah, I know I'm looking like a big nose ninja underneath the map. I'm actually looking like, look like Kakashi right now from Naruto. <laughs> I know, right? But, um, I want to talk to you guys about me for a second. I don't know how well you can hear me. All these cars passing by. I'm waiting on the bus so I can get my black ass home. Yeah. I got this shield on my face to keep my face warm. Yeah. It actually works. Uh, but yeah, man, I want to talk to you guys about me for a second. But I got a serious question I want to pose to you guys. A serious question I want to ask you. You know, I've been doing this since 2006, right? And within me doing it since 2006, you know, I've always, you know, I've, I've, I've always had a passion for video games. I mean, like my video game, I guess you can say legacy, actually started with, with Activision's boxing on the Atari 2600 back when I was like three and four years old. Like, I, I remember when video games literally was the name of genres. You know, they're like that Activision boxing, their rodeo, their racing. Literally, these were the names of video games. It wasn't a type of game. It was literally what the game was, and that was the name of them. You know, like I grew up during that time. And ever since then, I played every video game system coming up. And so, so vi playing video games has literally been in me since I was a kid. And I loved it, man. And I still do, obviously, because of what I do on this channel. And 2006, I created my YouTube channel. And I started doing Nintendo DS playthroughs, which I am literally trying to find a way to do again. But live stream with it. I'm trying to find a way to do it. Um, it's going to be kind of pricey, but I think I can get it done. But it's going to take a while. But, since 2006, you know, I never thought there was, even though I wanted to do it, I didn't think it was possible to make money off of YouTube or, you know, any medium besides, you know, making a game company, getting your video game made, and then, you know, having copies of it sold throughout the nation. I didn't think it was possible to make money with YouTube until that faithful thing, that, that, that one faithful day that somebody from the gaming network which is a partner network on YouTube, just randomly hit up my inbox. You know, just randomly hit up my inbox. You know, back when inboxes were still a thing on YouTube, you know, they're still there, but people don't even know that they exist because it seemed like they were moving shit little by little on a website. But, but yeah, they hit up, they actually commented underneath one of my videos and I thought they were bullshitting, but he, he had gave me a Skype and, you know, ended up signing with TGN. Now, I'm happy, and this happened back in 2014, mind you, so since, I've been on here since 2006, didn't really, didn't really realize that it was possible to make money until, I would say, 2012, 2013, maybe, and it wasn't until 2014 that I actually was able to make um, money with it. It could have happened sooner, but Sega, I got, some of you know that I went through like a big you know, back and forth with Sega Genesis. Yeah, that Sega, the company. Um, I was playing a game called Binary Domain. The game was getting good. Unfortunately, what happened was that as I was playing Binary Domain, mind you, I, I got up to 40 parts in that game. 39 parts, no problem. You know, no copyright claims, no content ID matches, nothing. The split second I uploaded part 40, I actually got a copyright strike. I got my first copyright strike ever on YouTube, you know, and I went back and forth with them for a, it seems like an entire fucking year, and I have not, you know, forgotten about that moment, because I could have been partnered back in 2013, but I had to wait, um, because Sega wasn't responding, and when I filed a dispute against the claims, I think I had like three. Two of them got released. But one of them they wasn't letting go of. So I had to wait for that one to get lifted. So it was something stupid. But yeah, I started making money on, you know, that was just a side story. I ended up making, I started making money on YouTube um, in 2014, in April of 2014. And, uh, you know, I made a move to California that following month in March. 
March 6th, 2014. Oh, was it May 6th? No, May 6th. May 6th, 2014. I'm getting my months mixed up. <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing things for quite since 2014. So going on three years, I've been making, you know, moves on YouTube to where I can make an actual, I'm taking steps to make an actual living on YouTube. Now, the steps I'm taking, I don't think are the right ones. Because I'm, I'm constantly asking myself the question, what do I have to do to reach a wider audience? And, you know, I look at other YouTubers and people in the FGC, you know, guys like Sonic Fox, some of you may know him. Incredible fucking Mortal Kombat player. Incredible fighting game player at that. You know, I look at guys like them. I look at guys like Mike Ross. I look at guys like Gotex. I look at guys like Flo. Um, I look at guys, even, you know, guys like, you know, Dark Side Field, even though he's not with the dark, with, uh, within the fighting game community uh, like he used to be. But, yeah, I look at guys like Dark Side Field. I look at guys like Low Tier God. I look at guys like Max a Million Dude. You know, I like all these guys. I do. Like, I like all of them. And, uh... You know, and I, I always wonder what it is that I'm doing wrong, because with some of these guys that I mentioned, or rather all of them, it seems like there's always some type of controversial moment in their respective careers where they, or something controversial that they've done, whether it be them acting overly salty uh, or whether it be, you know, raging or, like, whatever the case is. You know, it seems like there's always something there with these guys that I look up to. Yeah, you know, I do look up to them. I do. Um, it seems like there's always something that gives people a reason to complain. And maybe that's what I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm looking at, you know, everything I'm doing. Maybe it's, that's what it is. You know, because you know me, I don't bring my negativity to the channel. I don't think you guys ever seen me rage as far as like actually getting mad and getting loud and shit and breaking stuff and things like that. I don't, you know, I've rage quit some games. I, I got enough of them and I just stopped playing them, but I never really had like an outburst like that, you know, or any moment where it would consider to be, oh, this guy is salty or anything like that. You know, I haven't done anything to give you guys anything to talk about, basically. And part of the reason is because I really don't enjoy the thought of me bringing my negativity Unless I absolutely have to, like if it's going to stop me from uploading content, if it's something personal and I need to tell you about it, to that let you know that, okay, he's not going to be uploading content for a while because of this, you know, I think it's necessary to inform you guys. But other than that, I don't, um, you know, I don't bring my negativity to the channel because it has nothing to do with gaming necessarily, uh, which is what this channel is based on. And it, it, it just doesn't, you know, I don't know. Like, I've just never been that type of person to bring negativity to the channel. Because when I got started, my passion was about bringing attention to games that a lot of people wouldn't think to play. But then again, I was playing on a, on a Nintendo DS at the time. And rather, a lot of those games were getting overlooked anyway. And some of my most watched content to this day is from the time I was playing the Nintendo DS. And I'm, I'm even looking back then. And I'm trying to figure out, was I doing something right back then? Like, how do I reach a wider audience? Because you know when you're on a verge of a big break, you can just feel it. You know? And, you know, maybe the answer to my questions is, you know, my convention tour that I plan on doing this year. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the answer. You know? I don't know. I just feel like, you know, and I'm live streaming right now. I have to go fund me up, you know, because I need new hardware, things like that. I'm trying to, you know, get a new laptop, as you guys seen in past videos. It's falling apart, literally. Um, I'm barely able to stream anything from it. I, I, I don't, you know, I, I'm barely able to record anything off of the, uh, off of the laptop. Um, the programs are messing up. I don't know if I just need new hardware. Maybe I need to get it cleaned. I'm going to try that before I do anything else. But I for sure need new hardware. And the only way I'm going to get do that is if I have, you know, the money to do it. And I got to go fund me up again, which 
I'm not necessarily mad that nobody's donated yet, because I understand why. It's just that I haven't given people a reason to believe in the 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 brand of ADS Play, and I'm still trying to figure out how. You know, be it that you have people who use GoFundMe's for nefarious reasons, you know, and they are being dishonest with it, and they're using it for stupid stuff, and, you know, things like that. You know, me, I, I've never been a dishonest person. I'm humble. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm just too humble. Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm just looking for the bus and trying to make sure I don't miss it. Um, I'm not at a bus stop, but still, they can probably pass by if they see me sitting for too long. But, uh, but yeah, um, maybe it's, maybe it's just that I'm too humble. You guys have never seen me bring any, neg any negativity to the channel. And if I did, it, 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 it's rare that I did. You guys have never seen me bring any um, controversy to the channel, necessarily. Um, at least nothing controversial that had to do with me. I mean, I had the, you know, the, the music copyrights and all that other bullshit that I had to deal with. Sega, Arc System Works, Lord have mercy, I didn't really do that. That right there stopped, like, I will never play another Arc System Works game again because of, of the bullshit that they pulled. Maybe that's another story I'm going to tell for another time. Some of you who were around at that time knew exactly why, but I will never touch another Arc System Works game again. You know, because they did some bullshit to my channel. And since I'm trying to do this for a living, I, you know, I can't afford that type of stuff to happen to me. And they didn't respond. I mean, you put videos out. You contacted through Facebook consistently. You contacted through Twitter, emails. You know, you do everything that you can, and you don't get no response back. So, fuck it. You know, they won't be making any more money off of me. So, so that's one sale going down the drain. Fuck them. So, I mean, and I, you know, a part of me understands why. You know, they think they're too big. They're a big company. I'm just a small time nobody to them. So, of course, they wouldn't apologize for what they did wrong or make amends. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. It's like when you're on the verge of, of, of like breaking that glass ceiling and really getting your big break it's, it's, it's just like what else do I have to do and you know I had to cancel my first trip to a convention this year because of you know financial reasons which is understandable and we're just you know just it hurts and my heart's still kind of heavy because of that but with that being said I, um I don't want Like, I don't want to not be successful. Like, I want to be successful in this. You know, like, I want to be the very best that no one ever was. <laughs> nah, that, that's just like a a thing that I do. Anytime something, like, that the situation or the moment gets too tense or it gets too serious, like, just off of instinct, like, I say something stupid just to break the ice. You know, that's just how I am. But, um, yeah, man, I'm trying. But in order for me to be successful, man, I'm just wondering what the hell am I doing wrong? You know, I'm a genuine guy. Like, I don't have any problems. You know, and I'm not going to start no fake internet beef with, you know, hated YouTubers in order to get that look. I think that's maybe a strategic point that somebody else might do, but I'm not doing that. It's a waste of time for me. And here's the bus. Yeah, man, so I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna have to pause this and start it when I walk home. But yeah, as I was saying before, when I'm walking home now, I don't want to start no fake YouTube beef or nothing like that, because I feel like I'm on the verge of, you know, one time of the fact I don't like doing that, I kind of lost my place, so I may be starting over a little bit uh, farther than what I was, but, but yeah, man, I don't, like, starting to think YouTube be for nothing, like, I'm on the verge of breaking a glass ceiling, and I'm just wondering, what the hell do I have to do to break it, 
Maybe I got, you know, because I'm trying to reach a wider audience. And again, maybe the, the convention tour may be the answer to that. But I know it's equipment. I, like, I need the hardware. That's not optional. Like, the hardware is, is necessary. I need to buy programs, things like that. Again, the GoFundMe is underneath the video description, please. <laughs> you know, that donate and help me get this equipment a lot faster. Uh, or even get it, period, because I don't even know when I'm gonna, or if I'm gonna be able to get it on my own. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing things that I wasn't able to do earlier, like live stream and, you know, play video games on a consistent basis. And I don't know, maybe, you know, I don't know, it's just something that I know that I'm not doing. And I'm right there on the verge of figuring it out, but I don't know. I don't know what it is I gotta do to reach a wider audience. Cause I know the moment I do, that's it, you know? I didn't made it, but I gotta reach it. You know? I feel like I just can't, I can't figure out what it is. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, it's just one of those things that I'm just, I know that I'm good at video games. I always wanted to be in the fighting game community. I'm not gonna lie to you. Me, I'm from Louisiana, and so there wasn't a, like a big tournament scene out there anywhere. Even in New Orleans, there wasn't that, no tournament scenes or anything like that that I knew of. And mainly because I was still, you know, in elementary school, so I didn't really know of any big tournament scenes here and there or wherever. Even if it was any, I didn't know about it. But, like, I don't even, that's another thing. I always wanted to be in the fighting game community. I always wanted to participate in tournaments. I mean, I'm doing, like, the godlike combo uh, tournaments and things like that. But, I actually want to go to, like, some casual attorneys and actually play, literally. It's just that I, I haven't been, you know... I haven't been afforded those opportunities. Like, I don't even know where to look. <laughs> like, I don't know how these guys get the... get the word as to where these tournaments are going to be and then sign up for them. Because I have no fucking clue as to where to go. So, I know they have them a lot out here in California. At least y'all have them out here. I didn't have them at all in Louisiana. Like, there's no tournament scene out there at all. <laughs> like, it's just... I don't know. It's like, I know I, read the, I made the right move coming to California, because there's nothing for anybody in gaming in Louisiana, nothing at all. Maybe I, maybe once I, if I get in a position, I can be the first person to do that. But, yeah, I'm, I just, I'm trying to reach a wider audience, and I feel like I'm on the verge of a big break. But I just gotta, I gotta figure out what the hell am I doing wrong. You know, and it's not that I don't think about this stuff. It's just that I'm literally confused. You know, I don't just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, or where I gotta look, or where, I, or what I gotta do. You know, maybe I need me a new partnership, or maybe I gotta look into the op other options that this partnership that I currently have. What else can they do for me? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to make something out of myself in this. And I just don't know what to do, man. It's like, I'm wondering. But, I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I don't bring enough negativity to this channel. Maybe it's because I don't bring any anything controversial to go viral, <laughs> you know, knowing I'm not that type of person, I wouldn't do that anyway, oh, shit, why the hell is this car rushing up, but yeah, man, that's it, just wanted to talk to you guys about that, I'm done, so, thank you guys for watching, peace, the GoFundMe is still going, you know, help me get the equipment that I need so that I can 
<sighs> finally get the hardware and programs that I need to be successful with this, so I really appreciate it. I'm just trying to do do something that I love for a living. It seemed like everybody else gave up on me, you know, or didn't think that I could do it or get to where I am right now. Everybody told me I was wasting my time playing video games, you know, now I'm making a little bit of money from it. And I can see that this could actually pay my bills at once, you know, I just need the right looks. I just need the right look. But it's something I just gotta do. And I don't know what that is. <laughs>